Hi, I'm John Evans, and I've been invited to chat with Tim about the 25th anniversary of the Private Industry Council. And for all those folks out there this evening, I want to say thank you for working with me on the Private Industry Council TV show and a radio show. And for all the folks who didn't make it this evening, I want to thank you also for helping me uh, making those two uh, areas of the Private Industry Council very successful. I think it's, it's great, John, that uh, we're here because we want to recognize and thank all the folks over the years that have helped us accomplish everything that we've accomplished. It's been a great ride and we keep moving forward so that we can help people in education, employment, and training. Yeah, absolutely, Tim. And uh, now we're 25, 25 years in this organization. What a fantastic accomplishment in uh, providing services to, to uh, residents of Westmoreland and Fayette County for, for over those years and uh, the impact that we're making with young people, um, mm -hmm. just employment and training programs, early childhood education, it's just fantastic. Absolutely. Well, Tim, I've been with the Private Institute Council for 11 years, and uh, in those 11 years, I've seen tremendous changes in the uh, uh, workforce development area, but also I've witnessed the flexibility of the Private Institute Council. And I, I guess from your standpoint, you start at the very beginning, you started at the front line, I guess we'll call it, uh, as a job uh, developer, is that Job right? developer, exactly right. We uh, went around and uh, talked to employers about getting involved in on-the-job training programs and trying to let them know that we could provide uh, help to them to train their workforce and get uh, folks mm -hmm. into uh, self-sustaining jobs and, and in situations where, where people can grow and uh, have careers. So you have a unique uh, perspective of the private industry council yeah. because you've worked your way up through the ranks, and to get back to what I was saying, flexibility of the private industry council, um, it, it's just tremendous that uh, we're, our organization is able to adapt. And uh, from your standpoint, Tim, was that philosophy set like from the very beginning to be able to adapt and, and change when we have to? Well, I think as we evolve through the years, I always kind of refer to our organization as gap fillers, you know, which was the beauty of the nonprofit organization that we had in Westmoreland and Fayette County because you'd have a lot of different government programs, whether it be state or feds, and they would come down with different mandates to try to help dislocated workers or individuals that are coming off the welfare rolls, and they would have contingencies and restrictions to the types of things you wanted to get done. But with us, we could say, well, here's a piece of uh, that particular program that maybe the private industry council could come in and fill that gap mm -hmm. and, and really bring the program together. But because again, back to what we've been doing in the PIT connection and, and showing the whole partnership, private industry council doesn't do anything in a vacuum. We're doing things and we're accomplishing things and we're being very successful because of the partnerships, collaborations, cooperations that we have with other community organizations to get um, things accomplished and to help people move forward and, and see a brighter future for themselves. I absolutely agree with you, Tim. We have been able to uh, establish a lot of great relationships with many, many different organizations. And just to get back to the Private Industry Council TV show and also the Private Industry Council radio show, yeah. we have many, had to have many sponsors in the past that uh, wanted to sponsor your show because they know that the Private Industry Council is out there doing a lot of good things. So also, and there's a few more, but we do want to thank all of them for uh, sponsoring the show. But uh, as I have been, uh, had talked with these sponsors in the past, they are excited to be working with the Private Industry Council because of all the stuff that we do uh, in the community. So that's, that's a uh, real uh, plus for us. Yeah, that, that, that's excellent. I mean, uh, to, to, you really can't thank them enough. And, and mm -hmm. they come forward and they got behind us and, and the impact that they're helping us make in the community to, to bring these programs to, uh, to light for people or make them aware. It's tremendous outreach. You know, you, you, you go through a lot of different modes of trying to reach people to make sure that the right people are getting involved in the programs that mm -hmm. you have to offer. And a lot of times, uh, people will watch cable TV. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. So they're yeah. coming forward and they're saying, hey, maybe this is something I can take advantage of. And boy, what a, what a great way to mm -hmm. get involved. And, and you're right. I, a lot of folks come in and they look at our organization and they say, boy, you know, when we help you in trying to move forward in, in setting up some kind of business planning or strategic planning, a lot of times advice is you folks need to measure what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And they see with the private industry council, I mean, we're doing that. Yeah. Every one of the 24 programs that we offer uh, have measurements and, and goals and objectives that we're trying to achieve to show folks 
the impact that we're making and, and what it's all about. So, you know, all through the years, uh, the board and, and their input and their expertise, you know, that's a lot of people went into making that happen. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, with the current board now, a fantastic uh, board that's sitting right now with us provides a lot of great direction for this organization. And, you know, and I know they're as proud as I am to, uh, to what we have accomplished. Mm -hmm.